all you cool cats and fine felines. It's Leah Ann. Lynn. And today we're in Jonesboro, Arkansas at the Dean B. Ellis Library at Arkansas State University. We're going to check out the Sunny Burgess exhibit, so follow us. And Lynn, what are we going to do? Get into the groove. That's right. And when there's a home game, they light the tower up red for red wolves. Paint the town red. <laughs> Billy exhibit. They are honoring Sonny Burgess and he recorded at Sun Studio in 1956 a song called Red Headed Woman. On the flip side was Boogie Woogie. No, We Want a Boogie. It was We Want a Boogie on the other side. So when he was at he was born in Newport, Arkansas and died in 1917 in Little Rock, Arkansas. And um, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Europe in 1997. 1999. 1999. Yeah, the, in the group called the Legendary Pacers. He was one of the first rockabilly artists. Um, those, they, first, those first two songs that he came, came out with, they were, at that time, they were the most people call them the most raucous and energy filled songs at that time. So they pretty and much started with that, rockabilly. Yeah, that was, because that was during in the flowering of rock and roll, so that was like something completely different. But and look, you got you got your map over here of all the rockabilly artists that came out of Northeast Arkansas. It's amazing how much talent came out of the Delta region. This is a little map of where all these people came from. This is where we live here in Jonesboro. And to give you like a scale of that map from here, Jonesboro to Memphis, that's like 60 miles. So that's how close all the. With, within people. a two hour period. Yeah, within a two hour drive, drive from, from us. Yeah, where all these legends. We're like in the heart of it. Yeah, there's Billy Lee Riley right up there. Amazing. Their first band was the Rocky, Rocky Road Ramblers, and then they turned into the the Moonlighters. Yeah, that was their, they were the Moonlighters. Yeah, and then they were the Pacers. The legendary Pacers. Oh, oh, look, they they're honoring Sister Rosetta Tharp too. She was amazing. You can look up her videos on YouTube and see her play the guitar. Oh, she was amazing. Billy Lee Riley. Yes. My gal is red hot. Yo girl ain't doodly, doodly squat. squat. <laughs> and of course Jerry Lee Lewis. And you know you had Elvis came out of this area. And Johnny Cash came out of this area. I mean, so much talent. I'm so proud to be from Arkansas. Uh, they, they were uh, inducted in 2002 to the uh, Rockabilly Hall of Fame. That's right. There, um, there's Sam Phillips, Scotty Moore, Bill Black, and Elvis Presley. And they were, they were, um, played with Elvis on Sun Studios. That's All Right Mama was the first single that uh, Sam, it blew Sam Phillips' mind and he rushed it over to Dewey Phillips and Dewey Phillips played it 14 times in a row. Look at the real to real. Oh man, look at that jacket and that shirt. Yeah, Lynn, you need that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was Sonny Burgess jacket and shirt. Lynn, you would look hot beautiful. in that. Look, and they, they have like all the rockabilly bands and they even have, yeah. they have a Stray Cats. Love them, cause I got yeah, cat is, class yeah. and I got cat style. Oh yeah, the, the stray cats, I remember them. Huh. And the Rockabilly Nation, look at these posters, they were They're great. so scandalous and graphic. 
<laughs> Especially these. They even had the ones like... Gothabilly. Uh, and then the Psychabilly over here. And all these were offshoots of Rockabilly. You got goth, Gothabilly, Psychabilly. Ooh, look at that corduroy uh, jacket. Yeah, you could rock that too. With those <laughs> Whose drum Ooh. set is that? Jimmy, Jimmy Davidson. Davidson. Uh huh. Wanda Jackson. Oh, Wanda Jackson's amazing. Chuck Berry, of course. He's one of the famous people that started rock and roll along with Little Richard. Look at these harmonicas. Yeah. They're huge. They are. Wow. And here you got white influence and black influence. Oh. Your sister was at Thorpe. Yep. Robert Johnson, which we're gonna go and um, yes, see where he do. he lived and and sold his soul to the devil. We're gonna go, we're gonna yes, go so. see that in a couple months and take yes. you with us. Yes, this is a little Easter egg. We went in Hank Williams. Absolutely. We need to go, we need to go there, down there. We do Alabama. in Alabama and see yeah. where he and Audrey are buried. Absolutely. And Bob Wills and his Playboys. Yes. All of that music is combined into one. That's why they rock it really. That's awesome. Little jukebox set up so you can listen. You want to listen? <laughs> All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for following. <laughs> Click the notification bell. <laughs> Even the library's telling you to do it. Okay, so that's it for this little <laughs> vlog. Um, oh, it's three o'clock. Okay, so Lynn, what do you think our viewers should do? <laughs> Hit the bell. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Atomic Hive. And Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. That's right. And if you like this video, hit that like button. That's right. So until next time, stay groovy. That's right. Meow. Meow meow.